the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome everybody to the day we've all been looking forward to. The start of a new NBA season on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan joined by my colleagues Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. It's all about the Eastern Conference. That's where the action is today as the Atlanta Hawks get ready to bat. And they're starting off the season against this Detroit team. In a season ago, Clark, they won the matchup winning three and losing just one. And they didn't have much of a problem with these guys last season. And, and quite frankly, you wouldn't expect them to. Yeah, you know, these are two teams clearly on opposite ends of the continuum in this conference. I mean, this is a team they rightly feel they can beat every... Time they take the court with. Them. All right, let's set the floor. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. And Detroit, looking at who they've got. Elijah Wan is out there with Green. Then there's J.R. Smith. Then there's Chauncey Billups. And it's George in at the three spot. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. And how big was last year's trade for J.R. Smith? I mean, sent from the Knicks to the Cavaliers around midseason, Smith began to post some of the better numbers of his career, helping prove that for a tumultuous personality like Smith's, environment is key. And here is Billups after Julius Irving just hit the three. Billups dishes to George. The kick out to Billups. Back to George. Pocket six. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. It's no good. Lillard outside. Dishes it to Jordan. Let's it go with the three. Another three for Atlanta. It is so hard to contain. He just seems to get it done however he has to do it. And Billups, here we go. Nobody near George. Cummings grabs the ball. Hawks have gone two or three here to start off the game. And a wide open look for Jordan. Good. Great play by Lillard to set it up. And it's six points for Jordan. Well, the first thought from the D there was to protect the rim. So good idea to take the three in transition. Outside, George. And Whiteside sends it back. Out of bounds, Detroit takes. Possession. With a pause in the action, let's show you the teams that were best from the line last season. Number five, the Hawks. Boy, Kevin, I thought their coach really did a fantastic job of getting all of the guys on the team to realize the importance of free throws. You know, last year where they were great, excellent from the line. This year, they're hoping to do even better. Here's Smith. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. 
really just struggling here in the first few minutes. Five attempts with only one fall. Here's Cummings. Hit some rim on the way in, and the bucket's good. Nice bucket there. I mean, they are playing really, really smart basketball. IQ basketball, smartphone basketball, whatever you want to call it. Even though the lead's not that large, they're still in charge right now. Tell you what, Kevin, they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. Mark, that deficit will go away quickly if he does. And how about how he capped that one out? Almost like the one-two punch. Great outside shooting fueling this run. And the D is getting bombarded. They haven't been able to slow them down the least bit. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. And there's Green on the assist by George. They are really doing a nice job establishing a presence inside early. Yeah, and watch part how the game plays out because this is going to open things up on the perimeter. And sometimes we all just want to show people that we have the range. <laughs> yeah, you speaking from experience? We already know how good his range is. He shouldn't be firing from that deep. Mm -hmm. And here is Cummings after Paul George getting his three to go. Right side of screen. And Lillard kicks to Cummings. Not enough on that one as it misses. Pistons trail by five. Well, last season, the Pistons didn't reach the playoffs for the sixth consecutive season. They're, they're making progress, but as we can all see, still have a lot of work to do. Yeah, you know, they were spoiled for a while there. How about going to the playoffs for 1996 to 2009? So it, it's been a rough stretch here of late. But you get the feeling that the building blocks are in place for another push. Jordan against Smith, just five on the clock. Fires high post. A shot by Jordan, no good. And I bet most people forget that the Pistons did make the playoffs for eight straight years before this current draft. It's been a long rebuild process for them recently. But I think they're making progress and moving in the right direction. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Atlanta. Boy, the three-point shot has really been dropping for them early on. Also, guys, the passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. And for the Pistons, they seem to have a direction and plan now that just wasn't the case before. It won't be easy to get back into the postseason, but I really feel like they are on the right path. Now here's Irving. Paul George unable to get his shot to go. Right side, the pass to Irving. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And here are the Pistons now. They're on an 11-3 run right now. And the wide open shot from Billups. It's good, the assist that time from Smith. They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. Short in the hoop for his fourth field goal. Four for seven shooting and looking for more. Man, he's having quite the quarter converting at a really high percentage. And Billups, here we go. George, that's a two-pointer. And Detroit again with the bucket. He's finding all kinds of ways to get it done. What a quarter he's had. To the inside. It's stolen by Green. Alert against George. Outside, Billups. There's the three. The shot misses. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Here's Jordan. Paul George grabs the miss. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Alert against Phillips. Shoots from 12. And good. And he takes a response off the right iron and down. 
Pistons have gone 8 of 14 from the field in the first quarter. Smith outside. For the Pistons, Curry's checked in for Smith. And it's Lowry in for Chauncey Billups. Puts it up, off the inbound, and the layup good by George. George has got 15 points. He's been one of their more reliable options today, guys. I mean, his shooting has led them to this lead. And, and Draymond Green, guys, has won at every level. I mean, led Saginaw High School to two consecutive state championships at Michigan State, two trips to the Final Four, and now making noise with the Warriors. It's clear. This guy's a winner. Lowry dishes to Green. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. The Hawks trailing. Irving from long range. Akeem Olajuwon with the rebound. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. And George, here we go. And it's good off the back rim and in. He's got 17. Unbelievable. This guy is completely in a zone. And he knows it. You can see it. Body language, the confidence. Real swagger out there for him. Takes a three. The shot's good on the assist by Lowry. Now it's a six-point piston lead. You can see right now the defense running out of ideas. They cannot seem to slow him down. This is a scoring clinic 101 style. I mean, he has really got it going right now. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. Detroit's gone three of five from three-point land so far in the ballgame. Here's George. Rebound by the Hawks. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. The 15-footer. No good from Irving. He's been anything but his usual self this quarter. It's actually been ugly to see. That drops. And the Pistons lead by eight. Those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten in the first half here. And I think they should continue to work the ball down low, Clark. It's really going to free up their outside shooting. He has been fantastic this quarter, guys. It's just the kind of effort they need if they're going to continue to trim the lead. Here's George following the basket by Michael Jordan. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. They get Hassan Whiteside. The Pistons have on two for two in the game at the line. Yeah, they're up towards the bottom of the league there. Last season, they only shot about 70%. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. Well done again. He doesn't have the same problems at the line that plagues some of the NBA's other big men. Outside Jordan, shot and game clock separated by five. Green with the rebound. Green's got his third rebound on the night. Detroit shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. And doing a good job getting to the line and capitalizing. Exactly. I mean, that's what's helped them build this early lead. The drive by Jordan makes it off the glass. Jordan's got 18 points in the game. Really, the defense is helpless to stop a layup right there. Just too much of an advantage in terms of the mismatch. And now a chance to hear from point guard Damian Lillard. He explains his stoic demeanor on the floor. I was taught to, you know, never let anybody. I, I would say, Clark, we probably shouldn't expect to see Lillard starring in any reality shows about his, about his personal life. I think that would be accurate. I mean, Lillard is a young man who is all about taking care of his business and doing what he needs to be doing. I mean, his reality is trying to live up to the expectations for him in Portland. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And a look now at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Pistons. They've been making some really nice passes out there. Excellent passing. That could set the tone for the rest of the game. And also, they've gotten the three-pointer to fall tonight as well. That's equally as important. On the court for the Pistons, they've got Elijah on. Curry is out there with Lowry. Then it's Paul George, and it's Ibaka in at the four slot. Certainly the biggest surprise last year, Clark was the play of the Atlanta Hawks. You would have picked them to win the East at the start of the season. Well, they did it, and they earned it. Yes. The Hawks didn't have any superstars on their roster, but they won with solid team play. 